This is Essie Featured. This is the power of sports. Miracles. This time of year in college basketball, to get to thinking, you know what they look like. Through for the win! A miracle! What they sound like. What they feel like. This unexpected march continues for South Carolina. But if you really believe in the idea of miracles, in the idea that there are forces that can transform the impossible into reality, then you should really hear this story about the coach who came to believe in miracles far from the court. I started feeling like I was going to the other side. That was an angel that was sent to uh, make me right. In 2006, Frank Martin was an assistant coach under Bob Huggins at Kansas State. A new father and husband, he was living alone in a hotel, waiting for his family to relocate, when he started to not feel himself. I was writing notes, all of a sudden, my left hand just started to shake uncontrollably. I could tell I was starting to get feverish, and so I just took some Advil, and I bungled up inside the room, and I just said, I'm gonna sweat this out. The next morning, uh, Hugs came by to see me. Frank was laying there, and I mean, the bed was soaking wet from perspiration. He looked bad. Martin was admitted to the hospital, but doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong. As the days progressed, his condition worsened. Frank's wife, Anya, and his uncle, Joe, rushed to Kansas to be by his side. I gave him a hug, and he could barely hug me because he was so weak, he could barely get his arms up. Had me on morphine. My body temperature was about 104. I had tubes going in every orifice of my body. I just knew that whatever was going on was extremely serious. By his third day there, Martin's organs were beginning to fail. His pancreas was inflamed, and fluid was building in his lungs, making it hard to breathe. Doctors continued to struggle with a diagnosis. A lot of questions as to why this was going on, what was the cause of it, worried that, you know, he may not make it. They said, well, the shape your pancreas has taken uh, has created a fear for us that there's pancreatic cancer. I started feeling like I was going to the other side. The moment he tried to move or speak and couldn't, it just ripped my heart out that I'm a new mom, a new wife. And um, I'm going to be alone. On his fourth night at the hospital, with his Uncle Joe praying over him, Frank Martin waited for death. All of a sudden, I felt a hand on my left shoulder. And before me, what this Asian lady in about her 20s with piercing but loving eyes she said oh, my my nephews had this fever and it won't go away and she said let's pray together as we started praying there was a a warmth about it there was this peace he just couldn't believe what he was feeling but he just stayed with it and then she finished praying and left when i was coming back I saw an Asian lady coming out of the room. I asked her, is everything okay? And she's like, God bless you and your family. You're gonna be just fine. Several hours later, nurses came to take Frank's temperature. For the first time in four days, his fever had broke. The next day, the symptoms he had been experiencing were gone. I asked the head nurse, if she could please find for me the Asian nurse that was so kind that came to Frank's room. She said, sir, I'm sorry, but I think you're mistaken. They looked at us like we were crazy. And they all said, well, we talked to everybody who was on staff last night. 
and nobody seems to know who this person is. And that's when we were looking at each other like, that did happen. We saw her. We saw her and, and nobody else did. The results of such an illness and such a diagnosis to be able to be reverted in such a short period of time, what else can you say? It is a miracle. It's hard to believe that there's not a higher power out there that's actually in control of what takes place. That lady, that angel, just, you know, it triggered that in me. Frank Martin ultimately left the hospital after 12 days, healthy again. A year later, he'd get the head job at Kansas State. And two years after that, he'd take them to the Elite Eight. Then last season, he took the seven-seated Gamecocks all the way to the final four. This unexpected march continues for South Carolina. Were those runs miracles? Maybe. It depends on your perspective. I can just picture that lady who I never met coming in and touching me to make me better. It's my healing moment to make sure that I take advantage of the next day because it could end at any second.